It's a bird. It's a plane. Whoop de dee doop doop doo. It's another wig show and tell. And this wig show and tell is brought to you by the brand Outre. If you are interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave a website link below in the description box where you can purchase it from. The wig that I have today is Outre Melted Hairline in the style Arlissa in the color 2. Here's a close-up of the inside cap construction. It comes with two combs in the front by the temples, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. This wig was made on a breathable stretch fit cap. They inserted a elastic band so you get a secure snug fit. This wig comes with about an inch of lace in the front by the hairline. The parting space is on the left side and the lace is soft lace. It looks like it's transparent. As for the hair texture, it is on the silky side. This is how the color 2 came straight out of the package. Here's a close-up of the hairline on the wig. It comes with baby hairs and the parting space and hairline comes lightly pre-plugged. I did go in and pluck the hairline on this wig. Ultra did a good job plucking it, but I would like it plucked a little bit more for my liking. And I didn't get every step on camera but i showed you guys mostly what i did so i can get my end results i know i promise a detailed plucking tutorial all the time but i am working on a ebook for different plucking tutorials with synthetic wigs because a lot of these synthetic wigs come with different hairline you know some of them have frontal this one have an inch of parting space so i just want to bring something fresh for you guys so stay tuned for that i promise it's coming and it will be worth the wait but after i go in and pluck i go in with the hot comb to smooth out the hairline and when plucking this wig i promise you it is very easy you just bring the baby hairs forward and you just keep plucking back way in random sections until you see the hairline coming through but you have to pay attention and vision the hairline you can't just keep plucking 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 and you're not like seeing eyeing imagining what you're doing so i hold the hair down and i just pluck the parts of the hairline that's really dense that i feel like could use some more plucking and you know just keep plucking just keep plucking <laughs> I don't plan on using the baby hairs that come on the wig, so I plucked all of them out. Now I'm going to cut off the extra lace in the front and to cut off the extra lace, I'm going in with zigzag scissors. I got these zigzag scissors off of Amazon and I just take my time and cut right along the hairline. Before I get into the next wig, I just really want to show you guys this wig. This is another Outre wig. It is Outre Juliet, and I have it in the color too. If you're interested in the wig review to this wig, I will be sure to believe to believe it to leave it below in the description box. This is so cute. Like I'm loving it down to the curved parting space. Y'all did that, Ultra. Y'all did that. So I had to bring back this throwback right here. This wig right here is... <sighs> this wig right here got me the most views I ever had on YouTube. So I had to run it back and see if it's still all that. 
went in and plucked the hairline. I'm actually thinking about taking customers and customizing their wigs. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Would you want me to customize your synthetic wig and send it back? Let me know. But I am excited, so let's get into it. Right now, I don't have any product on the lace, but I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360, and I'm going to apply some of this powder underneath the lace. I just like doing that because it um, helps as a lace tint. So we're gonna try that out and see how it comes out. The leftover foundation on my brush, I am taking that and wiping it on top of the hairline. Okay, so this is how the hairline is looking after I applied the foundation and that is looking a lot better. What? Oh my goodness. Ah. Is this a crime? When the lace is like, you know, blended this much, is this a crime? Is this catfishing of the wigs? Like, is it? Is it? So now that it's coming together, the hairline on the wig is a little longer than my hairline. So I'm gonna need to go in and cut off some of that lace so the wig hairline can lay flat onto my hairline. I'm so impressed with how the hairline looks so far. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to take my, what they, what they be doing in the videos? <laughs> my olive oil super hole spray. Um, I'm gonna spray one layer of this on top of the lace to hold this lace down. Let's see. Let's see how it's looking without the baby hairs. Do I want baby hairs? Because in the last video I did, I added baby hairs. And the baby hairs is really cute. But without the baby hairs, it's really cute as well. Hmm. 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 It's cute without the baby hairs. But I don't know. Something is telling me to add... I keep forgetting my new thing is angel wings. I'm forgetting my angel wings. So I think I should put the angel wings on there. I'm gonna put the angel wings on there, y'all. Okay. <laughs>
going to take my LA Pro Girl in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to use this and apply it to my parting space. This is going to help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. It's also going to help hide the knots and grids on my lace as well. And on the hairline, I'm gonna touch it up with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 360, just so the lace could blend out my skin some more and help hide the knots and grids on the lace as well. I don't know how much more angles to give y'all to convince y'all that this wig is a must-have like i see why this is my most viewed wig on youtube because this is everything years later years later it is still giving all that it can give the layers the flow the lace the lace the list is on fire. The parting space is good. Ha! Uche did their thing, you guys. Love this unit. And this is from my left part peoples. I'm more of a right part person, but this left part, it could slide. It could slide because it is too cute not to have. This is like perfect for a interview, perfect for work, perfect just for the office, on the go every I don't know if it's coming off like shiny on my camera, but in person, it's really not that shiny. It has a shine, but it's not super shiny. But like I always tell you guys, if you don't like the shine, you can always go in and dim it down with dry shampoo. I had to run it back for y'all to show y'all this is an old goodie that is must have. It's such a shame because when I first did this wig, a lot of companies stole my video pretending like they had this wig and it was sending out like bad costume wigs to people. I even brought one of them just to see what they're hidden for and it was horrible, horrible. So for you, for those of you that know, this wig is by the brand Outre. If you're interested in this wig, I will be sure to leave a link in my description box on a trustworthy site you can purchase it from. You get it off of Amazon, you get it off of wig types, you get it off of Hair Soul Flash Shop. You can get it off of a lot of sites, legit sites as well. Yeah, I really don't have any cons. I love it. I love it. The only con that a lot of you guys, I would say, might have is the fact that I went and plucked the hairline, but I did what I had to do to make it look natural. Like, just get it to my liking, because the wig already comes natural, but I just need the hairline plucked a little bit more to my liking. So if you guys have any questions, 
comment below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible thank you so much for taking the time to watch and i'll see you guys in my next video later